Okay, everybody. I know I'm a bit behind, but uh, we made some progress. Here is the cab for the donor cab for this um, Peterbilt that we're working on. Um, it's out of a 97 Peterbilt 379 with a tall sleeper. Um, had a 12.7 Detroit in it, which is perfect. That's exactly what uh, the truck that we're replacing it with has. Actually, you can see it over there. Um, I'll show you the damage on it and why we're replacing it. But, uh, you know, this cab's in pretty good shape. It's been sitting for a long time. We scaped, scraped all of the uh, scale off the roof here. It was really bad. It was green. There was stuff growing on it. And uh, now, you know, they can do their magic filling it and paint. And while we were at it, we stripped all of the lights and horns off the roof. This thing had four horns. It looked like a bugle boy going down the road. But uh, anyways, we're going to clean that all up and give it a nice, sleek, smooth look. And it uh, should turn out good. Uh, that we're going to replace the windshields while it's out for paint. But, uh, you know, we got the, today I was working on just tidying up the firewall a bit so it's easy to load on the trailer and go down the road. We got all the decals off the doors, stripped the mirrors, um, stripped the air cleaners. This is them here on the ground. They're in pretty good shape. We'll probably reuse those or put them on another truck um, got all the interior out of the inside door panels roof headliner corners this is a canadian class interior so it had the speakers down here in the corners pretty nice um, full gauge package um, but have no fear i have all the proper gauges in that truck we're going to swap all the dash panels over to this one the wiring harness should be fairly similar so we'll tag everything bag it and swap it over and uh, kind of use the best of both trucks to make one really good one here. But, you know, the cab is solid. Um, even around here, normally you get, sorry, a lot of corrosion in this seam here. These are really clean. I just pulled the big uh, U-brackets off for the stacks and the one on the top. Nice and clean around here. I don't know if it's been painted or not. It doesn't really look like it. The cab was in pretty good shape. Uh, the window frame was a big reason why we're changing it. Um, this window frame is solid. A little bit of surface rust because the truck's been sitting for about 10 years, but uh, still in good shape. So that also around the wiper cowl here is in really good shape. So there's no, you know, common Peterbilt. It'll start corrosion in behind and popping these huck rivets off. <clears throat> and I guess the only bad part of the cab on each side is just starting here. So we'll get that fixed up. And yeah, this is the donor cab. So I'll take you over here and I'll show you the the cons with this cab and the reason why we're not using it. You know, the doors are pretty messed up. Um, I don't know if you can see or not, but up there you see how the roof cap's kind of pushed out. Those rivets are about ready to pop. And, uh, you know, the corrosion around the bottom here, it's pretty thick. There's more than a, almost quarter inch of corrosion there. It's thicker than this plate. And then, uh, you know, same common Peterbilt. The wiper cowl is also starting to see one rivets popped out there. Just at the back there. And then the window frame. We probably could have lived with a few of the things on this truck and just, you know, cleaned it up and painted it. But uh, this window frame is terrible. So, yeah, we got the window frame. It looks really bad. But all in all, it's a big project. Um, it's our, you know, we've done a couple trucks before, but not to this extent. So, you know, learning lots. Uh, we've only been in the trucking game for a couple years, but we fell in love with these 379 Peterbilts, and uh, now it's kind of a sickness. So, in the meantime, uh, we bought this truck. We pulled the bunk off, obviously, but uh, it had a 12.7 Detroit. I was really tired in it. It had actually, somebody had spent a bunch of money, put a new head on it, new turbo, all this stuff, and they didn't set the timing right, and it knocked the valve. So the head was junk, and we weren't really sure about the block, so we found a good donor motor out of an international, had about 100000 on a rebuild, bought that up. It went to the mechanics, uh, checked it all over. We had it running in the donor truck. Uh, everything was good, and uh, then we pulled it out and changed all the internals over. <clears throat> which is a big job, you know, kudos to my mechanic. He's got a lot of hours and just changing all the drives and the belt components on the front to get it, you know, the motor mounts, everything was different to get it to work in a Peterbilt from, a, I think it was a 9200 or 9400 International. <clears throat> so since then, it's gone to a good friend of mine down the road, neighbor, 
uh, farmer who's recently just kind of getting into sandblasting. So they were good enough to sandblast and paint the frame for us. So it turned out pretty good. Uh, you know, we didn't go crazy. It's not a show truck. It's not a farm. It's a farm truck. So we didn't, you know, fix all this pitting and stuff. And actually the bunk was on when we did it. So we're going to touch a few more of these spots up um, <clears throat> before we're done. But yeah, you can see this cab, really bad shape. The door's starting to do that too. This damn corrosion, the salt, the aluminum and the steel, everything together just makes a mess. So when I saw that truck over there for sale, um, it was a parts truck obviously, but it was in good shape. So we'll rob the best parts out of both and uh, and we'll make one good one. But here, you know, here's the truck. Don't look too close at the frame, but you know, we'll get it all tuned up. This is the sleeper off the parts truck. It was in really good shape too. Like there's no corrosion, hardly any dings or dents. Um, we just pulled the wings off the side. So we're just getting everything ready to go to the body guys to get painted. I got a few more holes. I think we're gonna go with four holes straight across the bottom. So one there and one there. And the two that are there, we'll, we'll swap them out for new ones and just give us a nice clean look. So we're just working on getting some huck bolts put back in all the holes. And then some blind fasteners where you can't get in with the huck gun. Um, red interior on both of these trucks, so it's kind of nice. We'll be able to take the best parts, like I said, from both and make one really good truck. But uh, this thing was pretty messy. It had, a, you know, the stainless piece everyone puts there. And then it had a big whale tail on the top. But there's holes and, you know, the roof was leaking a little bit. Not too much. A little bit of water damage in this panel that goes here. Uh, the upholstery panel, but I think we can get it fixed up. You can see that here's one of them there. It's in really good shape So yeah, this truck we bought it it had like brand new tires are pretty aggressive But there was you know eight brand new drives and, and two two new steers on the truck So for what we paid for this truck, we got a really good deal uh, We probably could have made our money back just selling the tires So when you ask me why are you going through all this trouble, you know, we don't have too much invested You know, but everything we've spent now we're gonna have a really good truck. So the motor's fresh, basically. It'll have a new clutch. Um, transmission's good, it checked out fine. You know, we're gonna redo all the brakes, all that stuff, so other videos coming. But I just wanted to give you guys a little update and show you what's going on here. Uh, the bunk for this truck sitting outside. And uh, yeah, that's, that's what we got going on so far. So it's a big project, but uh, you know, we're working away at it and hopefully by the summertime, we'll have a really nice truck to uh, do some work with, but. Uh, <clears throat> Here's some of the other stuff. Uh, fuel tanks that came off the burgundy trucks, so they've been patched a few times. Uh, there's a big ding in the one end, so <clears throat> the tanks that actually that were on this blue or black truck are in really good shape. We'll probably end up using those. I've got, you know, two steps on that truck, the two steps that came off the burgundy truck, plus another couple in the shop at home, so we'll find a really good set, get them polished it up, maybe put some covers on them, <clears throat> and have a uh, you know, a really good truck. So also, if anyone's looking for a set of stacks, these were just replaced not long ago. They got chrome elbows. Um, they're in really good shape. I think we're gonna go with a set of straights. So if anybody's interested with the shields, I'll make you a really good deal on these. So yeah, guys, that's the project. Um, we've got to come up with a name for it. I'm not sure yet, but I have one in, in mind that uh, we might talk about later, but uh, for now, it's just a bucket of bolts and uh, bunch of spare parts so all right we'll catch you on the next one thanks for watching